Quantum computing is still a very young technology and with supercomputers we can sort of look into the future. And it's our hope that with these simulations we can simulate larger ideal quantum computers that don't exist yet. And then we can find out what applications these future kind of technology can solve and how well they can solve it. We have developed JUX, the Ulich Universal Quantum Computer Simulator, and it's one of the most memory and network intensive simulations that we have. So it's our hope that whenever we see irregularities, we can also, in a feedback loop, contribute to improving the supercomputing environment at JSC. So because these uh, quantum computer simulations are so memory and network intensive, if JUX performs well on Jupiter, we have good reasons to believe that Jupiter will be a success. So with Jupiter, I'm interested in harnessing the exascale compute to optimize and do research on making large language model training more robust. Large language models can be used as a tool in various domains, starting from coding to aiding uh, summarizing paragraphs and translations. And this, I feel like, makes the task of scientists easier and hence accelerating the scientific research discovery more. For Jupyter, we used an OpenGPTX version of Megatron LM that is used for training large language models. And Megatron LM is a code base that employs various parallelization strategies and exploits the hardware to the fullest by making use of the compute cores and the memory architecture in the finest way possible. Megatron LM is an application that scales very well and we have seen perfect to near scaling for more than 400 GPUs. And this kind of proves that uh, all the strategies that are used in AI can be used efficiently in Jupyter. We developed Arbor, which is a library for simulating neural networks at scale. It is built from the ground up for leveraging HPC systems with GPU accelerators, while still delivering a science-focused intuitive interface. Arbor's neural model includes the cell's physical extensions and its electrical dynamics. So understanding brain health and brain development is one of the, the larger challenges in uh, the neuromedicine and is important for understanding human development and what makes humans unique. One of the major challenges when dealing with Jupiter and systems like it will be the difference between memory and compute performance. And now we are at a point where, where we have to focus much more on the memory performance. The Icon model is a very important model in the ESM community in especially Germany. Currently, we can only solve global climate simulations with a horizontal resolution of 50 to 100 kilometer. The weather forecast will improve with higher resolution simulations. So if we have the chance on Jupiter to have simulations with 2.5 kilometers or even less for regional models also, and then we have the unique chance to um, resolve the process directly. So we can uh, resolve extreme events in the weather forecast and do some forecast for flooding events or some storm events directly. 